This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performances do not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk. There is always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. Good afternoon, traders. I'm Scott Norse here with your Forex Report. Today is Thursday, December 21st, 2006. The dollar gained in the broad market again in today's U.S. session, albeit likely on thin holiday volume. This marks the second consecutive day that the currency has found strength after falling overnight. U.S. economic data was mostly disappointing today, with the third and final reading of third quarter GDP coming in at 2% versus the 2.2% previously stated. Furthermore, continuing jobless claims unexpectedly rose, while the Philly Fed Index fell to negative 4.3 from 5.1 in November. In other news, more disappointing data from Canada allowed the U.S. currency to perform especially well against the loonie. In October, Canadian GDP was flat versus the one-tenth of a percent increase expected. This marked the first time Canada's economy did not grow in back-to-back -back months since early 2003. Additionally, retail sales fell for a second consecutive month and by more than expected. October sales slid seven-tenths of a percent versus the four-tenths of a percent decline anticipated. Sales were down 1.2 percent in the month prior. Given the U.S. reports, it is difficult to justify buying the dollar, which is why we are looking at light volume as the culprit. We may continue to see such a rational movement ahead of the new year, but feel as though the greenback will ultimately resume its downward slide. European currencies are coming back in the final hours of U.S. trading, but still have a lot of work to do before we consider them bullish on intraday charts. Longer-term charts still suggest the greenback will find more weakness in the days and weeks ahead, but only if bears can keep a lid on the currency in the very short term. If we see another big leg up in the dollar in the next few trading sessions, it could really start to sour the picture of a larger bearish trend developing. While volume will likely remain low, there are a few reports out of the U.S. ahead of the weekend that could stir up quite a bit of trading. Therefore, we suggest that at least traders with open positions keep an eye on things early tomorrow morning. Till then, have a wonderful night trading. Take care.